Today we are hosting the 5G Smart Tourism Showcase events, which basically is going to show all the use cases that have been trialled during this one year long project. We've got a really eclectic mix of organisations from the uh, West of England Combined Authority in the University of Bristol to lots of early stage businesses and startups, Ardman, the BBC and of course Digital Catapult all working together to take this technology to its very outer limits. This is not about it being one up from 3 or 4G. This is about really making changes that will affect and improve everybody's lives. It's incredibly exciting to be able to actually do this in the real world, to test in a real 5G testbed and to test with members of the public, to allow them to actually walk around, experience this. Getting people in on the square in Bristol, letting them use a handset to walk around using the service. People say, wow, that is much better than any of my 4G phones or whatever I have. The BBC was responsible for producing a VR app that improved the visitor experience at the Roman Baths in Bath. Kids seem to love it, adults seem to really engage with the VR content. Without the 5G network, the latency would have been too high to deliver this experience. Being so early involved in a consortium of, I would say, probably the best people in this country that are working on 5G, it gives us a kind of a competitive advantage to develop and deliver applications much earlier than anybody else in the field. Smartify has been collaborating with Digital Catapult for a couple of years now. They always have been a brilliant broker between larger research projects in industry and small SMEs and in this project particularly they helped us consider the different business models around 5G and also ways that we could collaborate with the university and just kind of brokering those partnerships. One of the key learnings is that you cannot do innovation in infrastructure and innovation in digital businesses separate from one another by bringing together both infrastructure developers and technology developers and the businesses that use the infrastructure in new ways has been one of the most significant experience and learnings for all the partners in the project.